it's poster session again and uh, this time we're going to talk exclusively about one poster and you're the first author are you yes so you're samantha dr yes. samantha um, you did a poster that recently may become controversial because it deals with gender and sex so maybe just briefly what did you um, research and what did you find out yeah so we looked at the AFS proceedings so the all the abstracts submitted and presented here between 2003 and 2023 and then we searched keywords related to sex and gender we tried to be really broad in them so like gender transgender transvestite you know gender identity gender dysmorphia and we saw which words were used and then how many per year and we divided it by section we then coded them by if the terms were being used correctly if it was just a variable recorded but like not enough information to tell um, or if it was misused so like we have examples up here but you know like alcohol metabolism that affects sex not gender that's the biological thing same with like dna analysis affecting you know sex not gender and so people are clearly misusing a lot of these terms gender primarily and these have functional implications so last year i did a poster on how the languages we use in our case reports affects identification so we did mock case reports where we then had people use our case reports to enter information into NamUs. So like to search for missing persons. And if you used, you know, broader language, like gender neutral language, for instance, they check more options in NamUs. So you're not going to miss people for identification. So it's better. It's better to check more options. Yeah. So let's talk about the sections. At, at American Academy of Brain Sciences, we have uh, different sections. So for example, I'm path biology. What, which section are you? Anthropology. Anthropology. So the, the bone people, then we have criminalistics and well, jurisprudence, uh, digital sciences and so on. So um, which of the sections is the most confused about sex and gender? Uh, probably criminalistics. So they do a lot of <laughs> DNA um, and so they reference, you know, SDR kits of determining gender, not sex, even though they mean like XY chromosomes. Well, how do you explain that? I mean, since many years we have posters on this topic, especially about um, transsexual people being found as uh, skeletons and of course you know y you can be misled if you misattribute gender or, and or sex so how do you how do you explain the the confusion yeah we don't know i mean we clearly need to do better though so i don't know if it's a training thing if it's just people you know refusing to use terminology or sometimes they use them interchangeably um, so if it's misunderstandings but we we have to do better because the terms do matter but do, do you think it's a, it's an age problem probably that that for example elderly researchers don't know the difference whereas younger ones do know or it, it might be so one great suggestion that we didn't look at was like to look at the demographics for each of these sections to see because like anthropology and psych and behavioral science do the best which makes sense because we work with people so we have a very humanistic approach maybe it's just because they don't work with people as much so they're not as concerned with the humanistic side or maybe it's an age thing so you, you didn't check for that no. um, now the whole thing since a few weeks becomes political all of a sudden before that it was pretty normal for us to deal with the matter because we want to identify people we want to use proper language to identify them and so on and so on yeah. um, what, what do you have to say about that yeah it was a little you know disconcerting presenting then when uh, all this stuff recently happened but i think it still does matter regardless of you know what's happening politically it does still matter it does still affect identifications you know transgender individuals do still exist regardless of what people say and so i think we have to keep doing that um you know, going as we were in forensics are, are you afraid that you may be come into trouble or run into trouble concerning funding or anything like that or are you just gonna push through push through um luckily i'm in a state that's pretty accepting i'm up in new hampshire so it's a little less of an issue there but yeah definitely it's concerning funding i know we have a lot of cuts related to university at our university and things like this aren't exactly viewed favorably anymore but you seem to be relaxed enough and confident enough that, that's a good thing um finally um you, uh, why do oh, forensic nursing is just a relatively new thing here at afs so that's why you don't have much data here yeah or they just don't use any of the gender terms. <laughs> okay, maybe final question for um, elderly researchers not not uh, taking care of sex and gender. What is gender? <laughs> so gender is a social construct. It's how people choose to identify. It does not relate to their biological sex. They can be different. They can be the same. So social construct versus, you know, biological differences. <laughs> But it's still valid and it still exists. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs>